In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this feather bracelet on the rainbow loom. And the uh, outside color I'm using here is gray, and the inside colors I'm going to use um, red, blue, and green. So you want to start with your loom in that configuration, square, and you want the arrow pointing away from you. So we're going to start like that, and we're going to start with our single rubber band. Start from the center peg to the side, and you want to put it all the way down, and then on the side down. And you want to repeat that all the way down your loom, and always push it down. And keep repeating this process till you get to the end. And again, pushing your rubber band down on your loom. And on the very last one, two pegs, you want to put it from the side to the center. And then you're going to repeat it from the top where the, your red arrow is from the center to the side and again pushing it down and going all the way repeating the same process all the way down your loom Always sporadically just, just remember to push down your rubber band so once you stack the other ones and once you are looping you can easily see which ones to pick up. So once we're at the end here take your last rubber band and loop from the side to the center. And now we're going to work on the center of the bracelet. So we're going to use a red color for it to go up the center and we're going to use the blue and that blue will show on the un under side here like this. This is the top, oops I was using this one. This is the top of the rubber band and that's the bottom. So if you want the bottom to look like that you choose whichever color you want. I'm going to use blue. This one was purple. So I'm going to use that blue and make a up, uh, upside down V on your loom there and push it down and don't let it overlap. So the center red up first, don't let it overlap and then upside down V for your blues or whichever color you're going to use. Push them down, don't let them overlap. Again red up the center then blues from side to the center and don't let them overlap. And continue the same process till you get to the very end and we'll use our last color. Remember to push it down and don't try not to let them overlap. Creating all these upside down V's. This is your last set. Again, start with the center red or whichever color you're going to use and make that upside down V. Okay, and now we're going to make use your other color, which mine will be green. So I'm going to now make a normal V. I'm going to start in the center peg there to the side. And remember, don't let it overlap. Center to the side. So you're going to make your normal V. Just continue up your loom with the same process and do not let it overlap. And this color is the color you're going to see on the top of your bracelet. 
like that. Or you can switch on the other side. The other side can be the top. But anyways, keep up this pattern and don't let it overlap. Now we, here we are with the last sets of rubber bands, pushing down, making sure they don't overlap. And I'm going to turn my loom around now, and we're going to put the capping rubber band on this peg here. I'm going to take a single rubber band, and you can loop around your finger twice, and put it on that peg there. And now we're ready to loop. So what you're going to do is you're going to reach under the capping rubber band and you're going to reach and we're going to do the side rubber bands first. And whichever is the top, you're going to reach under the capping rubber band under all the blue and red and grab the top side, the last bottom two, but the top one for the side and bring it onto itself. And then the next, reach under, grab the very bottom rubber band, which should be on the other side, and looping it right onto itself. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna do the blue rubber bands, which is now your right, the V's going up this way now, which is the blue, and it's right under the green rubber bands. So you're gonna grab the top rubber band, and you're gonna grab, reach under the capping rubber band, pull it back and grab the top blue rubber band, and pulling it right onto itself. Reach in there, grab the next top blue, and putting it onto itself and reach and grab that center rubber band, reach past the capping rubber band, grab the center red rubber band, and bring it onto itself, and it should look like that so far. And now you're going to do the upside down V, which is now the green rubber bands. So you're gonna reach in either side, doesn't matter, just grab that green rubber band and bring it onto the center peg. And same on the other side. Green, grab that green and bring it onto itself. And we're going to grab, now we're going to grab the side rubber bands and reaching under the, should be at the very bottom. If you can't find it and it's tangled like that, you can just pull it out and you can see where that side rubber band is and reach in and under and grabbing that rubber band and pulling it and pulling it onto itself like that and you're that's the hardest part of this bracelet and now you're going to work on the next set and for this next set you're going to repeat the rest of the way along your bracelet and that's it you just have to learn how to do this part that's the hardest and the next part will be repeated for the rest of the bracelet. So, to do that, we're going to start with our green, uh, the blue here, that, the ones under the green. So we're going to start with the regular V that's under the top green rubber band, the top two rubber bands. So we're going to reach in there and grab, reach under the blue and the green and everything, pull it back, grab the top blue, and it should create that teardrop there and bring it onto itself. Again, reach on the other side. I mean, reach back in that peg pin and bring it and onto itself. And then we're gonna work on the center there. So there should be three off of that center to go on these three pegs. So the first one should be the top going to the left, which if you followed what I did, the right and then the center. And then the next rubber band should be the V, which is the green one. Just grab that single green 
don't grab anything else pull everything back reach in push it back grab that green rubber band and bring it to the center peg onto itself and the last set is your, the side rubber bands reach all the way under to grab so it creates a teardrop in the other side reach all the way under grab the rubber band and creating that teardrop right onto itself same thing one more time reach in the middle peg grabbing the top rubber band for the blue bringing it onto itself other side top blue remember as you're doing it as you're putting the rubber bands on try not to let them overlap and push them down so that way you can find them more easily and then you're going to bring the greens the upside down V's onto themselves and the last for those sets of pegs there are the side rubber bands there and it all should look like that and you're just going to repeat that same process all the way down your bracelet and I'm just going to do this quickly fast forwarding so we can get to the end and you can pause or we can replay to kind of see if you're still a little confused how to unloop it Here we are in the last one. I'm going to show you again. We're going to pull three rubber bands out of this center peg here. The first one, mine, which is the top going to the left. The next top goes to the right. And the next last one is the center rubber band. The red one going to the center peg. Pulling the side going to the center peg like that and then the side rubber bands to finish off that last set there and that's what it should look like so far check to make sure you have teardrops going down all your bracelet and now the last thing we're going to do here these two rubber bands for the um, the side of the bracelet we're going to reach inside the pin there or the peg and move it and bring it onto the center peg there and if you want to release it push it down and you can just release it using the back of your hook or you can just use your hook and loop it around the, the pin there and now we're going to take a single rubber band you can take two rubber bands if you want Take a single rubber band, and this will be your bracelet part that attaches to the other here to extend your bracelet. So I'm just going to take a single rubber band and push my hook right through, grabbing it and looping it around. And now you're ready to take your bracelet off your loom. So go ahead and carefully pull it off your loom do not break your bracelet carefully wiggling make sure the other side stays on There's your feather bracelet so far. 
And now we're going to put some rubber bands to extend it for this side here. And here, um, the bracelet is so small and you're going to need a lot of rubber bands. Here I did two single rubber bands at a time to extend it, but you can also do one. The bracelet is thick, so if you want to do two, you can, or you can do one and use this less rubber bands. Um, so what you want to do is you want to turn your loom with the arrows pointing away from you and just like creating a single. Use as many as you want to determine your size, but my, I tried four, five for my son's hand and his hand is pretty small and it was way too small. So you want to do at least eight, nine or ten of them to extend your bracelet and it's pretty quick. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to do nine. It might still be too small, but just for this tutorial and just finishing it up, you're going to take your bracelet and loop it on the other the side where you just finish. And last, put your rubber band and just hook it like a single. to extend your bracelet. Put it on the other peg. Get your C-clip and just like that and pull your bracelet off your loom and then putting it right on that starting the capping rubber band there and that's your feather bracelet thanks for watching